Dear students, today we are going to discuss about first experiment in the part A of communication lab. That is ECL332 communication lab. That is BPSK modulation and demodulation. That is the first experiment that we are going to do in part A. Okay. So let us see the circuit diagram first. This is the internal diagram of AD633 and you can see here that it is a 8 pin IC and here between 1 and 2 there is a multi between 1 and 2 we will be giving one input between 3 and 4 we will be giving another input. So here 1 we will be giving square wave input and here 3 we will be giving sine wave input and 2 and 4 are negative pins so we will be grounding it also you can see uh, here the both of these inputs are multiplied by this multiplier and output is taken at the point uh, at the pin 7. So you can clearly correlate all this that is 2, 4, 6 are grounded and 7 we are taking output across the resistor 10k. Let us see the circuit diagram. So here this is the AD633 IC and this is the modulation sec section circuit diagram here only one resistor that is 10k resistor you can see here uh, so that resistor uh, is connected to the point you can see this is the seventh pin you can see this is seventh pin and ground and so this point is shorted to this ground point okay so all other connections are according to for uh, giving our input you can see here the input is square wave i have uh, given the frequency as 1 kilohertz and 14 volt peak to peak and here i can select the functions as square wave and also i have changed the um, amplitude by using this knob and i have given the output um, square wave to the first pin of this ic you can see here clearly see um, this point this point is first pin and so here you can see this probe comes to this point first pin okay so its negative terminal is um, uh, grounded at this point so this section i have taken for ground connection okay so next is sine wave similarly another function generator we need for giving the sine wave input so sine wave 10 kilohertz uh, 10 volt peak to peak and its voltage can be adjusted here and the frequency uh, function different sign or square etc functions can be selected by using this function switch and a different range of frequencies can, uh, can be selected by clicking this button okay so this output is given to um, you know that it is given to according to the circuit diagram third pin that is uh, that probe uh, is giving to third pin uh, here third pin is uh, this side okay Uh, so that probe will be going to this point the third pin okay mm, and it's also that probe negative connection will be giving to this uh, ground section so let us see the output here i am using uh, in my previous experiments i am using um, cro uh, but here now i am using uh, dso to see the output and also this ic needs a supply voltage of uh, plus 15 and minus 15 we have to uh, set here this plus 15 I have set the voltage as plus 15 but when I am giving connection it is displayed as 13 volt you can check whether this is uh, 15 or 13 you can uh, simply uh, connect this vol DC voltage to the CR in order to display whether it is 15 volt or uh, not and here plus 15 is taken from here and ground connection uh, taken from one of these points and uh, minus 15 is from this point okay. So all these are given to this IC. And output is taken from the seventh pin and here seventh pin is this and I have uh, given connection to the DSO you can see here seventh pin from the seventh pin I have given the output so from the DSO you can uh, see uh, mm, uh, there are two channels you can see uh, first uh, you can see in the channel one you can see the input uh, square waveform according to this square waveform our output will be changing you can see this is the transition point and here you can see the phase of the sine wave is changing uh, actually this uh, this will have to come continuously but here you can see let me in, increase the time per division 
I am increasing, you can clearly see at this transition point whenever the input square wave change from this point to uh, this point there is a phase, phase change of 180 degree ok. Here you can clearly see this is 180 degree out of phase, I, otherwise this sine wave has to appear continuously like this ok, but here there is a phase change ok, always there is a phase change of 180 degree ok. So, uh, you can clearly see when you are increasing the time per division here there is a time per division no, no, knob ok. Uh, so, in the case of DSO they are channel 1 and channel 2 and this is for upper and lower for moving this uh, waveform to upper side you can see square wave is going up by turning this one and similarly you can see the sine wave is going up uh, by turning this ok. So, these all are functions, uh, these all are two keys that is similar that we can use similar way as in the case of CRO and channel 1 uh, volt per division is varied by using this C when I am turn, uh, turning this uh, you can see square wave display is changed whenever I am changing the volt per division so you can see the square wave is changing ok. Similarly uh, whenever I am changing uh, whenever I am using this knob you can see uh, this sinusoidal wave is changing its display ok. So, so, this is the way we can uh, use this uh, DSO. So, time per division whenever I am adjusting time per division this uh, time will be changing ok. So, this is the way we are using it once uh, next we want to see the demodulation output uh, see here in the case of DSO we are using another button that is auto set and run stop if we are changing uh, any of the output see here uh, we want to see input uh, sine wave and output sine wave so that we can clearly see whether the phase change is appearing. Whenever we are changing that um, any of the channels we have to uh, press this button ok run to uh, run bar stop or auto set uh, see next we can see the demodulation output. See this is the circuit diagram for BPSK demodulator so first section indicates the uh, BPSK modulator so output comes from here that modulator BPS, BPSK signal that is modulated output that is BPSK signal will be given to another AD633 ok. So, um, the output from this AD633 in the what is its meaning so this uh, this BPSK signal will be again multiplied with another sinusoidal signal inside this AD633 using the multiplier given in this AD633. So, uh, you will be getting uh, the original signal before that you have to uh, give uh, uh, a section that is RC uh, section ok. Uh, so, we will then we will be getting the original um, uh, signal that is whatever we are giving the information the signal that we will be getting ok. So, the original square wave we will be uh, getting ok. Let us see the uh, let us see the wiring section of this one. Uh, so, already we have set this modulation part next we have to wire only um, uh, this section that is this only section and bear in mind that uh, here uh, the sine wave is we have to give to this um, uh, this third pin ok. Um, uh, also we need another capacitor 0 0.01 micro farad and 1.8 kilo ohm resistor. So, this is the demodulation circuit diagram already we have set the um, you can see uh, here this is the modulation, uh, modulation setup here I have given and uh, from the output of this modulated um, modulation circuit we are giving uh, um, the input to this uh, AD633 and that is given to um, first pin. So, you can see here that first pin output from seventh pin ok see here is the seventh pin ok. Uh, this is the seventh pin and from uh, you are giving uh, it to first pin and next uh, input is sine wave that is um, already we have given the sine wave to uh, third pin of this IC. So, we can simply short circuit uh, simply connect a wire from this point to this third pin and all other connections that is one um, resistor um, and uh, one capacitor that is resistor um, you can see here that resistor is connected between the seventh pin. 7th mm, pin. Uh, so, some from 7th pin to resistor is you can see here this is from the 7th pin to here is the resistor connection and from that point there is a capacitor you can see this is the capacitor 
and it is then grounded. So all the connection, also this IC also, we have to give the supply plus 15 and minus 15. We can simply sh mm, give a wire connection from this plus 15 to this point and minus 15 to this point, okay. Mm, that is minus 15 volt can be short circuited from this uh, IC to this IC by using a wire, okay. So next we can see the output see the output of the demodulation circuit see uh, from the seventh pin we are uh, taking the output in the second ic we are from, from the seventh pin we are taking the output let us uh, take the output and view it in the cro sorry from the in the dso so this is the output of the demodulation circuit you can see um, here this is in the shape of a square wave here simple ripples coming uh, anyway we are getting the exact uh, input is square wave and output uh, square wave uh, output uh, from the second AD633 follows that square wave uh, you can see okay.